This is our fifth interview with an LSPU alum volunteer for our volunteer week interviews. So just to give some context, LSPU alumni act as the lasting connection to the university. Our alumni are examples of what success looks like, overcoming barriers, creating opportunities, smashing any glass ceilings along the way. We believe it's what you do that matters. So we're celebrating and asking some of our amazing alumni volunteers why it's important to them to give back and use their time in such an inspiring and rewarding way. Our volunteers are change makers. They are doers, they take action, they get involved in projects that change communities. And volunteering at LSBU creates a community that thrives with change. I'm Jody. I'm the Senior Officer of Marketing and Events in the Alumni and Development Team. And I'm Sally, Senior Officer for Alumni Volunteering in the Alumni and Development Team. And we are joined today by Simon Maskery. So hello, Simon. Thank you for joining us. Absolute pleasure, Sally. Lovely to see yourself and Jodie. Thank you. So Simon, um, tell us a little bit first about what you studied at LSBU and why you chose that particular course at the time. Now, I know when you attended, it was actually a polytechnic and it was <laughs> three years ago. So if you can take your memory back and think about why you actually undertook your particular course and what that was. Absolutely. And it was some time ago, so I do have to rewind the memory cells quite a lot. But uh, yeah, absolutely. It was a, a polytechnic in the time. I studied at uh, South Bank 84 through 88, and I took a BA in business studies, uh, which was a, it was a four year uh, degree as well. So I had a year's placement, which was a really valuable part of, of the programme as well. And, I mean, the, the why did I pursue that course? It was simply because and where I was at in my head, I didn't want to pursue traditional academic qualifications. I had a desire to go in the direction of business, even though I didn't know exactly what I wanted. Um, and it just it offered to me, I think, such a range and diversity. And it just appealed uh, with such strength. So really, that's what pulled it in. And certainly with the year's placement, that was uh, just that added, I think, uh, quality of attraction for me. And Simon, you have a very special relationship with the business school at LSBU. And from what I understand, you've supported students through bespoke support around CRM um, and helped with their employability prospects and some real lasting change. Can you take us back to the beginning of your volunteer journey and what ignited that spark for you to want to give back to LSBU in this way, um, in this unique way? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm far a bit... If I'm honest, it was a reactive um, engagement. So the business school uh, approached me. I'm guessing someone either was looking down their list or spotted me on LinkedIn. I'm not sure. But they approached me to have a conversation, um, uh, obviously acknowledging my, my background, but also acknowledging where I'm working. And I think, you know, I'm currently working for a company called Salesforce, which is the world's leading number one customer relationship management system. So I'm sure that sort of stood out on someone's interest. And really the, the idea of the business school was I wanted to try and help students on their, well, the business programs, the marketing programs and the finance programs to try and understand you know, the, the, what is a customer relationship management system? Why is that important to them in their, in their careers post uh, the, their, their qualification their program? Um, and, and I think to open up some uh, understanding of the digital marketplace and the digital transformation that's going on now, which uh, I'm proud to say that Salesforce is leading. So it was a reaction, but it was one which was well received. And because of the culture uh, we have within Salesforce and my personal background, absolutely, there's an opportunity here to get involved and to volunteer and help, particularly going back to my, my university and to the people on the same program or similar programs. You know, for me, it was a welcome request and I, I jumped in with, uh, with both feet. That's amazing. Um, I mean, the work that you are doing with the business school has such an impact, it really does. And it's so important for you to understand that the business school will really appreciate what you're doing with the modules and how it impacts the prospects of the students. I'd love to know a bit more, I guess, about the feeling, you know, how does it feel to be a part of that change and be a part of that impact that you have on students? Yeah, I think, you know, it's, it's the feeling is that you're, you're really helping people. So real, you know, it gives you a feeling of, you know, that I'm doing more than just earning money. I'm doing more than just living my, my, my normal existence as a, you know, as a, as a, as a person, as a parent and all the other parts of my, my, my role in life. 
And, it, you know, and certainly, and it's been tough over the, the last 12 months because the first time I delivered the program was just before lockdown. So I did get one opportunity to go into LSBU, sit in the room or stand in the room, in fact, with about 70 or 80 students uh, and, and, and have that personal interaction. And that was just a great to see that, that the actual interaction, you know, in the, in the same room. We've had to carry on for obvious reasons doing virtual. Still been great interaction, but obviously it's not quite the same just in terms of that contact. But I think it's a feeling that, you know, that I am actually, hopefully, if I can only help one person in that room, then I think I've done some, some good. But but a lot of positive response afterwards. Students have reached out to me through LinkedIn, followed me on Twitter. Uh, they've got my email address. I've had notes through, I've reviewed quite a few CVs since, given a few people tips on, uh, you know, where they could apply for, for jobs or, uh, you know, how to, how could they get into Salesforce? But, you know, it's just that feeling that, but clearly, look, that's making a difference. People are interested. And I just, uh, you know, it's just a, say, it's a great feeling. Thanks, Simon. That's really amazing. And for the work you've been doing with the business school, from what I understand, when students do complete modules, they, they get a real intervention. They get like a badge, I believe, like an, like an accreditation. Please correct well, me. No, no, you're absolutely right. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure if, if uh, LSB knew, knew what part of Salesforce I work within, but I work within the training division. Uh, I work within Trailhead. And so Salesforce as a company is driving uh, the uh, 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 the promotion of actually learning our skills through a free online learning platform to learn our skills so that's just pure coincidence that, that rich but I was able to bring that knowledge in uh, yeah and yeah give access build that that content into the into the program so people follow up afterwards if they're interested go learn and of course what we're driving is the idea of digital credentials people can earn badges by doing the, the learning and just build up ever more um, sort of promote promotion and proof of their skills and capabilities so when they finish their degree if they've got a good strong set of badges from from salesforce that can only add to it so yeah bringing that learning and development experience is just part of my my background i've worked in it learning for 30 years so it was really you know i was able to bring that to bear in the way i uh, ran the i'm still running the program and that i mean just that though making it quite bespoke for lsbu and working quite closely with the business school our students need that extra foot in the door when they graduate when they're looking for employment and your work with us and your intervention in the in that kind of capacity is is a real intervention for our students and um it's very accessible um i'd like to know about your feeling and your drive to make such technology and such systems accessible to um all different backgrounds is it mm. something you said learning is it something that's driven you and motivates you throughout your career um obviously i imagine with your work it goes hand in hand but it feels like you've given real bespoke support to lsvu business students yeah well no, if, I, if i'm absolutely honest when i first started down the path of work, going into the tech industry and i got the the opportunity to get into tech even though i'm not a technical person i'm a commercial person but i got the opportunity because of my years placement so my years placement was within a tech environment so that got me the opportunity way back when to get interviews and it went down that path but initially what was the driver to get a job to earn money like all of us and that's the truth uh, i found my personal sweet spot working within the training and learning functions of technology because i'm dealing with people about business change improving people's lives capabilities and obviously business performance but it was a very commercial thing and for the certainly for the the first half or two thirds of my career learning was really more about adding more earning more commercial benefit for the companies i work for within but you now i gradually came to realize actually that there was a much higher benefit of actual learning for an organization that benefit really was about empowering people growing the skill base in the marketplace which ultimately is better for our companies because there's more skilled people they're going to use our technology but when you start to think about that you follow the logical chain of events you then start to say well actually there's even something more than this it can change people's lives individuals who couldn't get a job or couldn't uh, go in a certain direction or they felt certain paths were closed off to them they can be suddenly opened up so it was a gradual realization, you know, it wasn't uh, an ethos I had from day one, but it's something that's come very strongly and was one of the core reasons why I decided to join Salesforce. And that was one of the things that attracted me because I could see a, you know, a pairing of their thinking and my thinking. Uh, so yeah, it was a, and it was a great to see. So it's a, it was a gradual evolution, but yeah, one I truly believe in. I love that. And you mentioned that your relationship 
with us starting from a reactive point. Mm. Um, so I'm interested to know, have you done volunteering previously in another life, another role? Is it something that you do in your spare time? No matter what, yeah. where it is, I'm just interested to know, do you do that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I don't, it wasn't a conscious thing. I'm going to go volunteer. It's a, sort of a gr gradual thing that, again, that, that evolved. I mean, I'm a parent, so guess what? I had to help out at my school's church fates and school fates and all that kind of stuff as we go by. So we've all done that type of stuff along the, the, the way. I think on a personal level, um, I simply like to try and see if I can help other people where I can and when I can. That's just the way I am as, a, as an individual. But it wasn't you know, a mission or a charter to go out there and, and change the world by, by volunteering per se. It was a gra gradual thing um, that came through. I mean, what moved it from just helping out when I can occasionally to be much more proactive was that we're encouraged within my organisation. Uh, it's not meant to be an advert for Salesforce, but I can't help it. We are encouraged to volunteer. We're all uh, encouraged to try and give at least uh, 56 hours worth of volunteer work in a year. And that's when that's gifted out of our time as employees. So I was given the, the, the opportunity to do it. And so I started looking around and I think it was just coming together. I've done volunteers in various different ways, work with uh, disabled groups. I've gone and worked in uh, sort of charity raising fund activities. So it was just really fortuitous I got that opportunity. But it, to be honest with you now, even if I wasn't given that time, I'd make the time somehow and find the time, time somehow. And we've all got time we can. And, uh, you know, I think it's really good because it just, it just it helps me uh, as an individual and how I think about myself and how I perform because I, I feel like I'm doing good and I realise I'm more than just you know, just working for, for, for to earn that dollar and doing some other things that are good as well. So, you know, and I think we all need that in our lives. Thank you. And I think you've touched on this slightly, but if I could ask a specific question, if I, if I can, why sure. is it important to care about and inspire the next generation? Why should we? <laughs> I mean, I think my initial thoughts came from being a being a parent. It's as simple as that. Initially, you know, I have I have three children who, they are my role models. They inspire me as much uh, as I try to inspire them. And I think, you know, I, I wanted. To, I feel we have a as a duty almost to try and support and guide people. Sometimes it's difficult because they don't always want to listen, and that's okay. You know, what do you know? You know, you grey head person, you. But but it, you do, and I think particularly if there's a the degree of relevance in the connection or the relationship. And you get that with when you go and talk and engage with an LSBU student, if you've been there before. So, so you did this and you've now got this and you've achieved this in your career and you're that. And I think that sort of moves the, the relationship because, OK, well, if, if you can do it, then I can do it. And I think that seeing that realisation from that, that sparks people up, think, yeah, OK. And I just think... You know, that again is all part of that enjoyment from my perspective, but, you know, we, it's important that we support, encourage, you know, um, the, the next generation that's going to come on through and hopefully do better than we ever did. I love that. It's so important at NSBU that our students see people that look like them come from the same backgrounds as them, see them achieve. There's success has different faces and it's that reality and that real world experience and those real journeys and stories are so sure. and um you mentioned that your children inspire you and i was gonna ask you is there anyone beyond your children who inspires you is there anyone who you look up to or who you admire um there are there may not be necessarily people that you've ever ever heard of and you know there's there's one particular lady that i've got to know over the last sort of four or five five years um who uh is a lady called Stephanie Herrera. She's now heading up. Uh, she's VP of um, of the Salesforce practice within uh, Computer Futures. But that's not her background. And she came from a background of you know being a stay at home mum, um, uh, not really seeing the potential. But she she learned and grew her skills and knowledges through some of the tools and resources we have. But the journey she's been on, achieved, and and what she achieved in that short space time is incredible. And, you know, she's felt the resistance. She's of a Latino background, um, coming from a part of the, of, the, of the United States where getting opportunities for anybody, let alone 
<laughs> whether you're, you're, you're female or whatever your background is hard enough because of a deprived background, but she's pushed on through and made things happen. And I think she, she's a really uh, inspiration to myself uh, as well as an individual that can just make things happen. Um, you know, nearer to term, I think one of my inspirations has been my own personal mum. I know I'm making it real, but she is, you know, she was a working mum. People don't always, they, they sometimes they hear my voice and say, oh, you're corporate or you're come from a, a rich background. I don't. Dad was a postman. Mum worked, uh, it was a working mum all the time. And she pushed through, sometimes holding down two jobs to enable them to sort of support us and work us through. And, you know, there was never anything she wouldn't do or provide for us, even though she'd probably go without sometimes. And so that is an inspiration as well to recognise the, the challenges and probably didn't even recognise it until within recent years, to be honest with you. But yeah, she's in, she's a constant inspiration as well. Amazing. Um, how important is it for you to see the impact of the time that you give to LSBU? Are you driven by that? Is it is that something that's important to you, or are you just kind of you understand what you're doing and you know the impact will happen? But is it important for you to witness that? <laughs> I, I'm going to say it's not, but I don't mean to say, I don't want to belittle that because I think at the end of the day, when you're doing these things, you're doing for the benefit of others, not for yourself. So it was all about me seeing the impact. That's for my own personal reward and gratification. You know, I, I, I do get to see some of that impact when people reach out and so on. So from that perspective, that's good. But really, you know, impact that my impact may not even materialize for years to come. Who knows? So I'm not going to be hung up in seeing that impact. Um, I don't always know whether I've, how, how many people I might impact in a day, but I've, I believe it, I feel it, and from just having sample feedback, it's clear it's there. So, you know, uh, I'll, I tr I'll, I'll trust that something's going to benefit somebody. And if it hasn't, well, what's the worst it's done? It's taken a few hours of my time and they, you know, listen to me for 90 minutes. You know, it's, it's not the end of the world, you know, it's not the end of the world. That was a really great description about sometimes impact can be a long burn. It can be kind of a, a long goal. It may not be straight away, but it may be something that a student can reference and go, well, that, you know, that person gave their time to me and it drives them at a different point in their life. And I'm just wondering about feedback and about um, impact. Is there a particular moment when from your time volunteering at LSBU that sticks out in your mind? And if so, and that can include like some really nice feedback about um, what you've given to the students, not necessarily a particular moment um, during front line yeah. volunteering. Well, there's been, you know, there's been two or three instances uh, that I've done. So, yes, that first time I was in that room and there was lots of, you know, engaged eyes and, and questions at the end of the session. Uh, that was, a, wow, I didn't realise that this breadth of, of people would be would want to listen to me and, and, and be interested in what I've got to say. I mean, it wasn't just the content of the around the CRM workshop. I was also sharing my personal learn, my personal journey in life through careers and so on. But then there was the people reaching out to me and, and you know, connecting with me. There was the time when I went online and I thought, well, it's going to be so hard and stilted, isn't it? But it wasn't. It was still just as much engagement, if not perhaps even more so, because I think sometimes people get a bit, bit embarrassed about asking questions in person, whereas online or virtual, they can drop the question in the inbox. So it freed it up. So that, that engagement. But then when I started to get um, this year, some requests from some of the students reached out to me and, uh, and said, look, Simon, love, love the speech. Um, would you mind? I've put my CV together. I want to go this direction. Would you mind giving a, a, a look for me? Well, of course not. Why not? Give, give somebody 20 minutes of a time to do something like that. So they're little bits, but those are the things that can, okay, well, it's making a difference. Love that. Um, I'm just going to question is what would be like the best volunteer role that you could have with LSB. I mean, what you're doing now is so unique and it's so impactful, but mm. how to continue your relationship with us and what would the next level be to what you're currently doing? Ooh, I mean, uh, you know, you caught me on the hook there, so I hadn't quite thought about that one through. Whatever comes um, to mind. <laughs> No, no, that's, that's that's fine. I mean, I think probably it might, it's probably along the lines of I've been working on another project um, uh, for Young Black Talent Outreach we're through Salesforce, trying to help people um, uh, from a variety of universities, but coming from uh, uh, who want to get into the, the tech career and trying to help them. And it, 
And some of the activities that have been there, I think maybe we could bring that towards South Bank, which would be things like how to prepare a personal pitch. You know, you've got 90 seconds, you're in the lift with the, with the CEO. How are you going to catch their attention and make them want to know more about you? So maybe something that would help people think about that, and how to go about that. And, um, you know, and also just think about how it is so important that as individuals, we need to uh, not only demonstrate our academic capability, but do make sure you demonstrate these additional things that you're doing in life, whatever they are. Make sure you demonstrate experience, even that experience is being, being a member of a club or that you worked in Sainsbury's. That's all experience. So maybe helping people understand the power of that, particularly when you're starting your career and just give the fullness and the breadth of, of everything you do. So maybe some way of helping people understand that and, and demonstrate it. But that's just an off-the-cuff thought, so I need to think about it a bit more. <laughs> that sounds really amazing. You're involved in a lot of really interesting things. Um, so, yeah, if you ever wanted to discuss that, then please do feel free to come forward and, and we can have that conversation. Um, Joe, did you have any other questions? It would help if I unmuted myself. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> don't worry, that's the most common thing that gets set on video calls and I'm on about eight a day, so don't worry right. about it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, I don't I guess have what, any more questions. I guess I, we the thank you. Yeah, well, well, I was just going to say um, that, you know, listening to you has been um, an absolute joy, listening to the beginning of your journey and to what you're doing at the moment and having a bit of personal as well was really important because our students do see themselves within alumni and they like to hear those stories of what's mm. motivated them and what, what inspires them. So I just want to say thank you for joining us today and that we really appreciate your time as a busy professional but also allowing us to recognise you and thank you and spotlight you um, through this campaign for Volunteers Week and um, it wouldn't be right without having a personal thank you that we've kind of prepared from the business school so I would like to just read this out um, to catch you on the spot, but it's very important to make <laughs> this message gets through. So from the business school, Simon, a heartfelt thanks for all you do to increase our students' employability, transferable and networking skills through the excellent support package you have devised on our behalf. You are a known partner, a valued alumnus to the business school. You have raised the profile of CRM Salesforce to students and made these skills accessible. Our students don't have the networks that many other students have access to. Your work and your work with us has created a network for them that would not what that they would not ordinarily have. Thank you from Lynn and colleagues at the LSBU Business School. Oh, wow. Oh, wonderful. I mean, as you say what moment you realise you're making a difference, there's a, there's, a, there's a moment, you know, so that's really enjoyable. And I think what I didn't realise most of all when I went down this route, I didn't realise actually how much I would enjoy it and actually how much I would get from it and learn from it as well. So, uh, you know, it is a, it is a two-way process and engagement with the students and some of the one-to-one, -one, you know, I, I've learned, they've helped me uh, and it helps also keep you on your toes as well. So, which is good. <laughs> so thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure and a pleasure talking to you today as well. Yeah, it's been a real thank pleasure. You so much. It's been an amazing pleasure. So um, we'll leave it there. Thank you for joining us today um, and allowing us to recognize you, celebrate you, and hear more about your journey. We really appreciate it and we look forward for you to involving yourself with LSB a lot more of other opportunities that come along the way. Yeah, I definitely will. So thank you very much. Thank you, thank so, you so much. much.